Convicted felon Donald Trump went on Fox and Friends for what should have been a softball interview, but he still managed to fumble it and ultimately expose his true intentions if he does get back in office, while also sticking to his usual trend of lying as long as they'll let him. So I thought it would be pretty interesting to look over and debunk, and since MAGA is so against presidents using the DOJ to target their political opponents, let's start with him saying that he'll do just that. I beat her. It's easier when you win. And... They all said locker, but and I felt, and I could have done it, but I felt it would have been a terrible thing. And then this happened to me. And so I may feel differently about it. This clip was especially hilarious because it's Trump himself admitting the hypocrisy from MAGA. He acknowledges that his base wanted him to go after Hillary. They chanted for him to do so, but now it's some grave injustice that Trump got convicted for felonies. But then also him verbally stating he's out for revenge and will probably use the DOJ to do just that. And this is on the soft side of him saying that. At rallies, he openly talks about going for Democrats because they're all criminals, which is hilarious because again, Biden's DOJ passed on the charges, which of course isn't even Biden's DOJ, but at the federal level, they didn't take on the case. It was a state DA who did it, a grand jury who indicted, and a grand jury who convicted. it. So can someone please tell me where Biden's involvement comes in? Single biggest threat, not global warming. When they say that the seas will rise over the next 400 years, one eighth of an inch, you know. Which means basically you have a little more beachfront property, okay? All of these years and Trump still hasn't learned what climate change is or the negative effects that it causes, rising sea level would mean the opposite of what he's claiming here. It would mean less beachfront property, which by the way, eight of our 10 biggest cities are on a coast. But if the sea level continues to rise, it threatens infrastructure. We all know how good Trump is at passing infrastructure, which would kill jobs and entire industries. Everything from roads, bridges, to power plants and landfills would be at risk for this kind of destruction and damage, which would all cost a lot of money to fix. Storms like Hurricane Katrina would be even deadlier. They would push even further inland, causing more deaths, as well as nuisance flooding that would cause more expensive fixes, more infrastructure to, to get past, something Trump promised and never could deliver on, and as well as coastal ecosystems that help protect from the storm, that are used commercially, even recreationally, would be ruined, and salt water would begin, begin to contaminate our freshwater aquifers, which provide water municipally and for agriculture. That could happen. I don't know that the public would stand it. You know, I don't. I'm not sure the public would stand for it. Uh, with a, uh, tried house arrest for. I think I think it would be tough for the public to take. You know, at a certain point, there's a breaking point. Yeah, I mean, good luck. I guess they can all become felons with him. But polling suggests that this absolutely will have an effect on him, and that people aren't as hard for it as he wants to pretend. The only poll that's been conducted since has shown that one out of ten Republicans are less likely to vote for Trump, which is ten thousand per one hundred thousand, and could play massively in close swing states or even swing states that he lost in 2020 as well as over one fourth of independent voters saying the same, meaning Trump's not gonna get hardly the support from the middle he's used to, something that both parties need to pull from in order to win. And over 50% of registered voters think that the trial and the charges were completely fair. 60% of registered voters said that this had no impact on their perception of the American criminal justice system. So people aren't buying into it's all a political scam the way he pretends. 62% of registered voters believe that Trump did falsify business records and committed fraud, that being one third of Republicans and 63% of independents as well. Furthermore, 73% of registered voters, including half of Republicans and three fourths of independents believe that he did have the affairs and paid hush money to silence them. 62% of registered voters believe that he illegally removed documents from Mar-a-Lago, one third of Republicans, 65% of independents. And in this poll, the only poll since Trump has been convicted a felon, Biden was up two points as to who they would vote for. So Republicans can pretend and play games like anyone outside of the MAGA cult won't care about Trump being a felon or this is gonna motivate them to vote for Trump even more, but all polling on the matter so far suggests that that's just not the case. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.